Hi there, YouTube or Facebook. Um, this is a general reading. It's not for any sign in particular, or I guess I should say it's for all the signs. I just had a feeling that I wanted to do a general reading and it kind of came out a little bit, um, I don't know how to say it. Um, it looks like a warning for someone or someone, someone just needs to hear this maybe. Okay, so let's get started. So your first card is a three of cups in reverse. This is about starting something, um, starting a business with uncertain success. Like you don't know how it's gonna, you're starting something, um, you don't know how it's gonna go, but it also means somebody is envious of you. Um, it also means something to do with superficial, so it could be a false friend, somebody that's pretending to support you, but they're not. Um, and then in the how, you have the magician in the reverse. Um, in other tarot decks, the magician is, a, is a, a positive card, but in this deck it isn't. In the upright, it means illness, and in reverse, which is how it is, it means mental illness. So this is about troubled relationships. Um, it can mean it can mean someone is a con man or a pretender. Um, like I'm just getting when I looked over the cards, I got the feeling that someone's starting something and someone is envious of them. And they're, I, I, I don't even know um, how to say it. Um, someone's, someone's putting some bad juju on someone, on their future, on their, on their plans in the future. Something that they're trying to start. Maybe it's a business. Maybe it's a relationship. Um, someone is not happy, and they're, they're. I don't know. They're doing. They're, they're sending you bad thoughts. They're trying to interfere. This means. The person voyage card in the reverse means um, misfortune, loss, trouble for relationships, difficulty, um, imperfection, and hostility. So it's almost like this person is is trying to send that to your plans. Um, and, and how you're going to feel, you feel internal strife. Um, this is all about feeling like repentance, embarrassed, regrets. That's what I'm feeling like this person is trying to send that to you. They're trying to make you feel really bad. Um, this can also mean trapped by your reputation, um, at the mercy of followers. So <laughs> it just seems like someone is putting something. Um, maybe I'm way off. I've never, I've never done a reading like this before. So I'm just going to go with it and go with what my gut is telling me. And anyway, so someone's sending you, I don't know who you are. Um, if you're listening to this and this is resonating, um, this could be you. It could be an earth sign. This is a dark haired boy, but in this deck, this can mean a girl or a boy, some, a young man or woman, or it might not necessarily mean young because it's, it's about an apprentice. It's about someone learning their craft. They're facing out towards the world. They're, they're, um, they're trying it out. They're trying out some new skill. They're feeling like they've learned their craft. They're like they're happy with their learning. They're doing really well. Um, this person enjoys the arts, good living. They're organized, helpful, financially practical, um, trustworthy. They could be having artistic success. This can also mean a message and it's below this, so it might come in a message. I don't know about you guys, but I believe in those things. Um, anyway, at the bottom of the deck, you have the High Priestess in reverse. So this is saying, watch for hidden enemies, uh, careful of temptation. When this card is in the upright, it means platonic love and intuition. So it's almost like you're not using your intuition. Where these two cards are meeting, this is a travel opportunity, um, something abroad, foreign lover, work travel, promotion, 
um, gain um, some kind of fulfillment. And again, that could be work. It could be relationship. I just noticed that this is three cups. So that could uh, that could be something to do with a three-party situation. Maybe somebody made a choice or something and the person they didn't choose is really pissed. And they're trying to sabotage um, something that's starting. Either a job that's starting, a work thing that's starting, or a relationship that's starting. Where these two meet, this means love of danger. Game of chance. Dangerous friends. Concentration of power. And it's pointing right at this person, which I'm assuming is you. But yeah, as soon as I laid the cards out, that's all I could see. Three-party situation, someone's really pissed off, they're trying to sabotage um, something that you're starting, a business or a relationship, and they're trying to make you feel really bad. Maybe they're trying to make you feel guilty, embarrassed. Because it says trapped by your reputation and at mercy of followers, it might have something to do with um, maybe you're a YouTuber, Maybe you're um, you're doing something online where you need you need um, likes and you know that type of thing um, because this says love of danger, dangerous friendships. This also means careful of temptation. So I'm just getting false friends. Somebody putting bad juju on you because they're jealous because you're doing well, because you're, you're putting yourself out there. Um, if this resonates with you, then I would say you need to turn the High Priestess. Oh, okay, and then actually I didn't even look at the next card at the bottom of the deck. Um, that's, that's uh, yeah, that's, someone's trapped in their imagination, someone is trapped in pain, And there, the, there's four swords pointing towards you. Pointing towards your future, your work future, your relationship future. So you need to turn your high priestess back around so that you can, um, you need to ground yourself and send it back. Just send it back with love. Just send it back to whoever's sending it. It works. It completely works. You just have to sit down, close your eyes and visualize even visualize a bubble around yourself where anything negative that's coming towards you just literally bounces off. And when you get your, when you get yourself into that headspace, um, it can't, nothing can touch you. Nothing can touch you. So I don't know who that was meant for. And also the other thing that made me think this was um, I hit the shuffle on Spotify while I was shuffling and to catch a thief, by Nathaniel Merriweather came on. Really awesome song, but definitely fits with the message that I'm getting. So I hope that helps someone. And if you're watching this, even if it doesn't resonate, ground yourself. Ground yourself and send ev everything back that anyone is sending you. So if they're sending you love, you're sending them love back. If they're sending you this shit, well, you're sending it back. Obviously they already have it or they wouldn't be trying to send it to you, right? All right, I love you guys. Have a good day. Bye.